Hello everyone, in this video we will set up database in ASP.NET Core. My name is Umair and I welcome you all on my YouTube channel. Before setting up database in our project, let's have a look on few prerequisites. First of all, you need an IDE. For that purpose, you can use VL Studio or VL Studio Code. I will be using VL Studio in this video. Secondly, you need database. And for that purpose, you can use any relational database. In this video, I will be using SQL Server. And the last thing is, you need .NET SDK. Now, let's move on to our VL Studio and implement database. And this is the project that we made last time. Right click on your project, go to manage new get packages. In here, search for entity framework core. And we will be installing this one, the first one. As we are using the latest version of .NET, so we will be installing the latest version of EF Core. Except the next thing that I need is Entity Framework Core dot Tools. this one install we will be using this package for migrations and lastly for implementing SQL server I will be using the package for SQL Server. Now we have successfully installed three packages. You can confirm it from double clicking on your project. You can see here that we have Microsoft.efcore, efcore.sql server, efcore.tools. Okay. Also, you can verify your packages from here. Okay. Now after that we need a class for handling database. This folder is optional. I will be naming it as application db context as we are implementing entry framework core and we want this class to handle all the database operations for that purpose we need to inherit it from db context class Okay, after that we need a constructor here. In this constructor we need to pass db context options. We 
we will also use this base here because we need it in order to initialize the new instance of db context now after that i want to create a model here just a sample model and it will be employ i will have few properties here id string name string email okay and this name will be nullable this email will be nullable now if i want a database table according to this model i will be using a property in db context and it will be of db set type not that only employ okay we will be doing control dot suggestions and models and this one will be the name of table employees okay now after that we need a connection string you can define connection string in your app settings.json file it will be having a name and also we will pass the values for connection string data source is equal to i will be running my sql server this is the name of my server okay i will be using it as data source after that i need to pass the value of database it will be initial catalog is equal to employee management system i will be writing it as ems employee management system employee ms okay and after that we need to pass integrated security is equal to true fine this is our connection string for now now lastly we will go to program.cs file in here we need to register our service that we want to use this app db context for database purpose okay now in program.cs we will be using builder dot services dot add db context okay and here we will pass the name of our db context class it is application db context right and we will be using a bracket here within this bracket we will pass options and these options will indicate that whether we want to use sql server or any other database the last thing is we need to pass the connection string we can get the value of connection string by using builder dot configuration dot get connection string here we will be using the name of that connection string for now it is default okay now i just want to revise few things first of all you need three packages that we installed entry framework entity framework core sql server and its tools 
the second thing is you need application db context it will be inheriting from db context class and we will pass in db context options and we will use these options in program.cs here in program.cs we register db context here we use sql server and in here we are passing the value of connection string okay one thing last that any table that you want to add in database just define it in this format db set and the name of that model okay now lastly go to tools NuGet package manager and package manager console okay here we need to run few migration commands in order to create database in sql server first of all we will be using add migration it will be initial migration we have got a migration folder here in which we have got application db context model snapshot i will not be looking into it because it is auto generated and the second thing is we have got a migration file here in migration file you have two methods one is up and the other one is down the down method contains any information that must be done before the up method just like we are creating the employee table in a method so in down method we are dropping it that if any employees table exist just drop that table and in the up method we are creating a table with the name employees with the properties id as integer type its nullable is false and its identity has been set its name will be of type string with nvarchar max type similarly email and we have one constraint here and that constraint is that this id will be the primary key for employees this is how our migration created class now we have got this migration here one last thing that we need is to submit this migration into the database and for that purpose we will use update database command initially we used add migration and now we are using update database okay now we have got issue here in order to resolve this error just go to your app settings.json file and add trust server certificate is equal to true this will resolve this issue hope so let's have a look i will again run that command update database now you can see that we have got a message done and within this package manager console you can also have a look on few commands it is it is execute it is executing the commands according to our migrations for example it will be creating a table with migration history okay and also it will be creating a table with employees name okay so i will go to my sql server databases and here you can see that we have got our database employee ms and table will be employees and migrations history this employees table just have a look on the design we have id name email similar to what we have in employee model that is id name email now this is how we create database in asp.net core that's all from my side if this video helped you then kindly subscribe the channel thank you very much take care